Hi guys, this is Naomi Smith and I really want to welcome you to my YouTube channel, Home Inspired. It's my desire that this channel would impart vision and grace to you in your journey toward home. I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, I just wanted to briefly get on here and talk about just the power of obscurity and hiddenness. And um, those two things are not very popular concepts in our culture. But if you look throughout the Bible, you see God using obscurity and hiddenness in powerful and potent ways to raise up leaders. And so um, for me, the messaging uh, about obscurity, especially in, in, the, in the, the framework of coming home and being with kids, was that I was really giving up my destiny and my personal calling in order if I was going to come home. And our, I'm, sure, I'm sure I've shared this before, but our son had a rough start. And so I really felt the need to come home and be with him. And so I really just, I, I was convinced that I was really giving up a lot of my own personal calling and influence. And in, in the short term, I think I did. But um, what I found was that as I like sort of detoxed from a lot of the, the man-pleasing, selfish ambition, um, a need for approval that I had kind of wired in me, I began to slowly learn how to live for just an audience of one and live in a, in a realm of intimacy with Jesus where, you know, we would just have conversations and um, like chopping vegetables. I would just be chopping vegetables and talking to Jesus and he would talk back. And, and it was just, just great uh, in those moments. And it's not like it was not without struggle or anything like that. But there was this richness and the sweetness in the hidden, in the hidden place. And there was a beauty that was coming out of me that would never have been able to come out of me any other way than in the hiddenness. And if you look at Moses, Moses was on the backside of a desert for 40 years in hiddenness. And Joseph, Joseph was in jail and, um, you know, out of his, what his prophetic destiny, if you want to call it that, for many years in preparation for the fulfillment of his dreams. So you see how God uses um, hiddenness, but I don't think that's a messaging that I got when I was a young mom and considering what to do um, about going home. I felt like I was giving up, only giving up really my myself and my personal you know, ambitions and goals. But what I found is that actually because of the hiddenness, because of the obscurity, when I do come out of obscurity, I'm much more effective and able to be used by the Holy Spirit because I um, am not tied to needing to please people in the same way. And um, not only that, but I have also found that just a little peak, my, my internal world of my family, our relationships, because I've worked to cultivate and guard those, they are a witness to a watching world. And so so people taste of something beautiful when they see into my little hidden world. So just wanted to encourage people who are in a place of hiddenness or those who are considering going into a place of hiddenness that it's not, it's not bad. It's really not bad. It's, it can be a little painful at times, but it's not bad. So just wanted to encourage you. Happy New Year!